Welcome to the latest from our old faithful farm. Two generations chatting about the family business down in the barn. All the things we're yet to cover, yes, yet to cover with our feature videos. If you're watching on YouTube, hey, and if you're tuning in on Spotify, mm -hmm, you can do that now, then welcome. This is an audible delight. Don't go breaking my heart. Yeah, they're a bit. You took the weight off your feet. <laughs> they're a bit karaoke. Oh, aren't honey, sure. when I get restless, baby, you're not that type. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't get in here. Right, so I was going to say a few bits first. Go on then. And a very warm welcome. We're down here in the barn. It's slightly cold in temperature, but not in spirit. Because I'm here with my mum. Beautiful. Isn't yeah, that nice? It's hey, absolutely mum. beautiful. Look at that sky roof. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> it's going to be a great day. I'm excited for and it. And that is the sort of positivity we're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Yeah, I just feel great this morning. Oh. Some mornings you're tired, but yeah, I'm feeling good this morning. Got loads of exciting things to do today. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, my, so uh, my pig, I've had a poorly pig, so I'm really excited because he's come up to the trough this morning and he's looking a bit better peeking up yeah he's looking a bit peaky you know he's yeah. a bit he wouldn't eat and stuff he'd sort of come up and so he's come up to the trough so i'm really excited this morning well that's yeah. good news <laughs> that maybe is it was my news. presence you know <laughs> well and your presence obviously what a lovely surprise <laughs> this morning yeah so i feel like i should probably explain to the people uh watching the format yeah because there there isn't really one no. as we've um so what we're doing is we're experimenting aren't we we're going to have chat. We're going to have some chat. Um, We're going to have some chat. Well, there's lots of questions that pe people sort of see the, yeah, they see us working and this, that and the other. But there's lots of stuff that they don't see and they don't know and they'd probably like to know. So just, you know, see how it goes. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying I can answer all those questions and I'm going to be an, as con concise, you know, I'm a bit of a waffler. <laughs> <laughs> there might have to be some editing on this. <laughs> well, I'm... I'm the hope is not. Um, so we're still going to do the big videos. We actually filmed one recently. I actually love doing the big videos, yeah. yeah. We really like that. But there's lots that we don't sort of get through yeah. on those. Yeah. And the lots that we cut out or it's difficult to, um, yeah. you know, difficult to... You can't fit it all in, can no, you? exactly. You've got a certain amount of time. There's so much. It's like, oh, Rue, you know, when we had our piglets when they were small, we need to come and see this. But there's literally no time to no. do all these film and do all these things but with our new format one thing i i do want to promise everyone is uh in the lead up to christmas at least i want to film one of these every single week that's it that'd be good which yeah. would be great so we'll do this they'll come out every single friday morning um because we film them in the morning yeah and then i'll edit them and then they'll go out every friday and yeah the the premise is we're just gonna have a, a natter we have pretty good chats anyway. yeah we do have good chats <laughs> yeah Rue's a good chatter <laughs> yeah he's a good chatter hot full of hot air <laughs> yeah yeah i won't say yeah <laughs> but um and then yeah the hopefully we uncover a few things that we haven't mentioned yeah in things the other that videos. And if anyone wants to ask you know anything or absolutely a few questions not too difficult questions please because i you know but yeah I, i'm kidding you know if i can answer a question i will try my very best <laughs> Yeah, I like it. So a little backstory is um, the notice you've had for this is I called you yesterday because I just yeah. thought this would be a fun idea and, and a nice build up to Christmas. And you said, um, yeah, great. What time do you want to come? Yeah, and basically. I said, I said, well, what time do you want me? Which was a mistake on my part, <laughs> because <laughs> there's no there's no point. I have I am such a creature of habit and routine and my animals the same. Yeah. So, you know, I you've got to come and fit in with the animals, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. I, I I literally the one thing that I really wanted to do is I wanted to be in my barn, which is my sort of safe haven. It's my time in the morning when I come down, we're obviously looking at the animals, but we're we're planning for the day. We're thinking what we're going to do. We're thanking God for such a beautiful morning. Look at that sky. It's tremendous. I am is, thankful. I, so this is when I'm plotting and scheming. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> this is when I'm fresh. Uh, when you see me about five o'clock, you know, I'm not so fresh. And you don't want to listen to me rambling on then. Yeah, it's <laughs> well. I think I'm. I think I've got that from you because I'm slight. I'm somewhat similar. Some people are morning people, and some people are. But d wouldn't you say that's quite a theme of farmers? Yeah, 
I think they want to get up. I mean, literally, and on these short days like they are at the minute, if you don't get your jobs done before two o'clock, you're screwed. Yeah. You know, if you've got something you do, you've got to get up and you've got to get on with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and so when I did call you yesterday, yeah. you were on the M1. I was on the M1, my favourite place in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> to anyone who doesn't know, that's a motorway. Yes. In England. Yes. <laughs> so um, we had booked in some, some of our coal use, so... This is the second lot we've taken, and so over the summer... The word cull is a little bit... Yeah, it's, it's horrible, not, isn't it? not very nice, is or it? Or I don't know, there is other words for it, but... Or your it's just barren get, use, rid of, or your old use, or the ones that can't breed anymore. But that's the... When you go to, and you look at the markets, they're selling the fat lambs, and then the cull use, or the... I don't know what other no. words, there's <laughs> probably... And when the old girls go, you think, oh, dear, she's been such an old sweetheart. But she's, um, you know, I need to get the money. I've got bills to pay and um, I'm making room for the younger ones. Because yeah. we're going to have about 60 ewe lambs as well coming in, new ones, because I didn't want to send them to the meat meat market. I wanted to keep them. So right. I've got plenty coming into the flock. Blimey. Yeah. More, more, more. More, more, more. I love my, I do like my sheep, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, we were going up the. We're um, actually we're surrounded in this barn with about every single animal, aren't we? We are. We have got pigs, we got sheep, and we got cows. Yeah. I'm sure a chicken will wander down here in a minute as well. Yeah, they go and nest in those straw bales <laughs> over there, the little devils. <laughs> yeah. Just finding eggs. Yeah. That is quite funny. When yeah, we found um, about twelve, twelve or fifteen the other day. I had to go and stick them in a bucket to make sure they were fine. <laughs> but I, I could hear a cluck in her head off. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, <laughs> missus. And oh my goodness, a lovely little clutch. You know the nice blue eggs? Oh yeah. Yeah. So really nice clutch of eggs. That's great. So that's good, yeah. What's the, the water is obviously if they sink they're no Yeah, good. they're good. Oh they're good, sorry. Yeah. Right. So they sink, they're good. If they, they float, float that's not good. Get rid of them. Yeah. So when you see a sell by date on a pack of eggs, you could just Yeah. That's it. You can just Maybe do the test. It, what you can do halfway? the test. <laughs> you chuck it. Yeah. Don't don't play with uh, play with fire on that yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. You really pinned me down yesterday, didn't you? Because I was in the in the van. <laughs> Usually we have very brief conversations or a quick text, but <laughs> you got me well pinned down, stuck on the M1 <laughs> with a trailer load of sheep, and um, right, this is the this is the plan sort of thing. But I mean, it, it's nice. I love talking about the place. I could bore you all to death. I'm sure. I think I we all it. like it. Yeah, I, I I get a lot out of it personally because I get to understand what goes. I think there's a really nice um, and one of the reasons we we got so well featured is there's a nice um, sort of juxtaposition between you being um, like a different generation to me and what it matters to us. But yeah. then well you're you're you seem to be able to. Um, like talk to those people well, so you talk to me well about what this place is about. I try and communicate about. well. I try and also, well, it's really important, isn't it? And and you don't want to give people a load of flannel, and you know, you tell it like it is, you know, like the the coals and things. You know, I do feel sadness as well. I leave them there, and I always bless them. I know it sounds bad, but I always say, "Little, <laughs> you know, bless you, my girls, and I hope your journey is quick and." But. Um, and the cattle, I really feel that. I really hate it when I have to sell my girls. Do you, sell think, my girls, but do you think that's true of a lot of farmers? Oh, I think so. Yeah. When you've got an empty shed, you do feel sadness because there's always characters. and Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're thinking you've got to be practical. You've got to pay bills and you've got to get the money in. But you still, well, it's you a know, business, it's right? a business. Oh, my God. Yeah. But and uh, and um, I suppose that's a that's a big part of what we don't talk about with the videos. But it's yeah, so hard to show wanna, because yeah. it's, it's quite... <sighs> boring yeah because <laughs> really. i mean it's not it's yeah not why oh people God, watch, it's dull, isn't it? because everybody's got bills oh my god there's so many people got bills to pay yeah. and i'm no different yeah and i don't want to bore, bore people but you know i i have um contractors bills and i gotta get the money in and well I, no, I thought one boys. of the nice things to ask on on the first uh on this first one would be what where do you place yourself we tried to do this with a with a video once but where do you place yourself how do you see yourself amongst other farmers oh i'm on i'm at the bottom <laughs> the b <laughs> i'm at the bottom i didn't mean <laughs> what do you mean bottom i'm 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 a peasant you're a peasant yeah right 
Yeah, I'm a peasant. I um, I mean, I think I'm. I can pull my weight along yeah. with any other farmer, but I don't. You know. So you mean in terms of the? And when you say, "Am I on the scale?" What does that mean? I mean, I'm not a small holder. Yeah, and I mean small holders. This is fantastic, but you know, I am sort of. You're full time. Medium. I mean, I, I work every single day. I don't know what you mean by that. So you're going to have to clarify or no, I think explain it to me better. That's great. I that's mean a great answer to what I asked. <laughs> <thing. laughs> I'm so at the bottom. There's yeah. so many different... Oh, my goodness, yeah. I mean, um, I just... Farming gets t- gets brushed, though. So you've got dairy farmers and then oh arable God, farmers. Yeah. And then arable farmers you're a and livestock a lo- farmer. Which beef and sheep which farmer, is which is different as well, yeah. Yeah. What that means. Well, I'm... I what am a passionate s- farmer. I'm a. Have you got? What are all the farms? Because I feel like growing up, most of the farms around us are like yours, and then there's some bigger ones. There's some massive farms around us. There's big dairy farms, isn't there? We've got the big dairy yeah. farms. I say a medium. I mean, we're I don't know. We we're a medium farm, medium to small farm. Yeah. I mean, um, but we got a lo- we're a lowland farm, so we got. About 150 acres, and so lowland. Well, you know, we're not in the hills. We're on the. Okay, right. Yeah, so we are. Cool. Lowland farm. Yeah, you know, we don't have a load of rough fells, and we don't have mountains and all that. So. um, Oh, I see. Because some farmers have got a lot of acres, but they've got it's unusable. Some of it. Yeah, and th- there's a lot of arable farms. We are just a small, and I would say we were we were a small livestock farm. Mm. Yeah, I would say that. So we're not we're. Uh, but then that would mean that most of the farms that I think about are all small. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how how many of those are in the UK? I mean, I was just thinking. I'm just thinking of the farms around here. There's lots of. Um, 100, 200 acre farms. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say we're a nice little... I'm, it's good size for me, but yeah, <laughs> we're a small <laughs> plenty, farm. Plenty big enough. Yes. And to keep this place going, there's a list as long as your arm of the stuff that I want to do and achieve. And I know. But it's um, crazy. It's, yeah, there's plenty for us to be going on with. But we're a small livestock farm, I would say that. Yeah. Is it just that's so interesting. Because there's still a lot of a lot produced here, you know. Oh God, yeah, we we sell lots and lots of lambs and um, and cattle, store cattle. We've just sold an, I don't know, twenty twenty odd this time, and some fat ones as well. And some there'll be some cold cows going. L- lambs we've sold over two hundred lambs, fat lambs. Wow. And I was going to sell some ewe lambs, but I have kept them. Don't tell Dad. But um. Oh dear. <laughs> That's that will be a running theme <laughs> of mum keeping animals. That but no, <laughs> I've done quite well for me because <laughs> usually I've got loads and loads of fat lambs, haven't I? Yeah. And we're feeding fat lambs and trying to keep them out of the mud. But I, the trade was so good, and it's like we need lambs, right? Okay then. Why was the trade good then? Do you think? I have no idea because everybody keeps saying that it's going to go, f- you know, with Brexit and. Yeah. It's all going through and on and they're all talking about it now. But it was like the trade's good. So we've got the lambs, so we're we're gonna sell them. And the lamb's done this year and I think if you talk to quite a few people, the lamb's done so well. Yeah. They really I didn't probably have the quantity, but they were really good, strong lambs. I said I've said to you before, it just doesn't seem like Especially growing up, it but there's our nothing worse. Yeah, we don't we don't value lamb very much. It, do, it doesn't seem to be something that w- I no. think my friends eat a lot. But no. that doesn't mean that it's not. Look, I've got a s- we've got a little farm shop here, only yeah. a small one, and oh my goodness, when you say half a lamb to someone, they go into spasms. They think it's going <laughs> to fill the chest freezer. <laughs> you know, you've got a leg, a shoulder, and a few um, chops in the middle. There's nothing, you know. Yeah. You know, they get, t- and it's a lot cheaper buying it, you know, if yeah. you have half a one. But um, a lot of people. Does the price vary, f- the market price, going back to that, does that vary from. Yeah, sometimes it's some year. Every year it's different, Rue. Oh my goodness. Some years it's like, oh my goodness, I refuse, I know I'm stupid, but I just can't, I work really hard 
getting the lambs to how I want them, and some they have to be fed, obviously, and you have to move them from pasture to pasture. You have to keep them alive. And the thought of me then dragging them to market, and someone giving me 60, 70 quid for a lamb, it's like, get lost. Yeah. That's why the live market is important to me. I could say, I'm sorry. I don't do it very often, but I am sorry you are not having it at that. And then, does it go through to the consumer? No, it does not. No. It's ridiculous. And the price, yeah. I mean, I just want, I work really hard and I want a fair price for my my um, animals. And that's that's not too much to ask. And who needs the lamb? Is that Tesco buying it? That's, we export or, a, lo know, a lot of lamb roe to France and the continent. You export it? Yeah. Not dead, you know, they do the processes and then they go across on the chiller lorries. Yeah. Does France not have its own lambs? Not enough, obviously, because they buy shed loads of ours. But the really? Wow. Yeah. And then we've got New Zealand lamb, though. Yeah, but New Zealand lamb is for the the uh, a lot of the girls in the supermarkets that like the smaller cuts. Right. And so, okay, then if you have um, a leg of our lamb, um, that could cost you thirty quid easily, probably. Right. But if you, you know, they've got, okay, then say it's an adult and two children, you know, that you could probably get a le um, New Zealand lamb for about seven or eight quid or something. I okay. don't really know. I don't look at New Zealand lamb. Yeah. But I think people are... Do are farmers not then, so you can't just cut a joint, you can't really cut a joint, can no, you? No, you can cut a leg. What I tend to do now is if we do, um, like, for our own use, I cut the legs in half. But, you know, s I mean, old-fashioned... And people are still like it. Have a leg of lamb, like fa the farming families, and they have it, and they make it last for a... They have it for a couple of days. They have it on a Sunday, and then quite often, if we have a big joint on the Monday, yeah, you just put... You've got some more gravy left over. I'm you got all in on that, just veg, cooking once and, off and you go. eating twice. That's always good. And then you'd perhaps have... And I think people are going more towards, you know, um, we're going to have a nice roast on Sunday... Yeah, we'll have the leftovers Monday and we'll mince them or do whatever. Well, I've spoken to Gran. That's how. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And then years and years ago, when my mum talks about it, Ruth, she, um, Granny, she, I mean, literally, you know, the the joint would last three days. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine that. But um, that's how people have got to, you know, people want nice meat and they want to buy it from a local farm. You have something nice. And then you have a couple of veggie days, don't you? And you just yeah. enjoy the, enjoy it. Treat yourself and, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's a special occasion. Well, that's how it meat used to be eaten, but it's not really how it's eaten now, is it? Which is fantastic. Right, well, that concludes. Um, is this the first, first? <laughs> I hope I haven't bored everybody to death. <laughs> and it's so lovely to speak to you this morning. And you all have a really good day, yeah? Yeah, that was nice. Hey, thanks so much for watching and listening. I'm eager to hear what you think of getting updates like this. And equally, if you have any questions for mum, then I'd love to pose them to her next week when we do this. Until then, have a great week.